Previously, on the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Uh, shades? Like the shades? Reminds me of an anime. Now that's what I call a sun! Here, you can have this last sun seed as a souvenir. Think it might be a dud, though. No, that's Lulu. That's definitely not a sun seed. And now back to rescuing some adorable baby dragons! Welcome, mares and stallions, dragons and dragonesses. My name is Moonsaber, and welcome to part 31 of our Let's Play of the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. So in the last episode, we headed off to Cloud Spires to get through that area, as well as the Molten Crater. And blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, okay. Go away. And as well as the Molten Crater to get as much sun as we could in that level before realizing that we need a bird to take care of the rest. And, this and we also went a bit into Mushroom Speedway to get a little taste of locals to come. And this episode, we're going to be heading off to this world. Yay! My is working. I'll see you at the beach. Oh, a beach? Awesome! You know, Dragon Shores was nice and all, but man, I've been looking forward to another beach. Seashell Shore. That's a tongue twister and a half. Let's hop on it. Whoa, whoa, okay, I'm in the water now. So, we are now at Seashell. Let's uh, talk with our seal friend over here. While I was gone, my friends borrowed the Rhinox submarine. Then they took it for a joyride. Okay. And then they smashed it into a big pile of rocks. Ooh. Oddly enough, the Rhinox failed to see the humor in their actions and stuffed my friends in the jail cell behind you. Well, uh, I mean, considering the fact that your friend stole a submarine, took it for a joyride, and then got it smashed up. I mean, do you know how much insurance costs on those submarines? Man. And you know exactly Moneybags has got his greedy little hand in that pot. Ugh. The Rhinox have boarded up a lot of our doors. But I bet you're strong enough to smash them down. Yep. I'm pretty sure I am. So let's get on it. Oh, these octopus. Oop. I think the Rhinox have got harpoons. Oops. Gotcha. So, as I promised in the previous episode, I'll go ahead and continue on my Ooh, gotcha octopus. Continue on my little story for my inst my time in Lost Pegasus. So when we last left, so when I last left you guys, I was busy taking care of a particular uh, the quote unquote possible cheater. I had just entered, I just uh, sat down at my table and was getting ready to play. And I knew that this was a, a cult, judging by the tone of voice. Also, you are a cute duck wearing a scuba gear. That is cute. If you want a quick summary of your progress in a world, you can press the guidebook button to open the guidebook page for the world you're in. Thank you, Zo. Pop you. Gotta charge at the shells in order to not only get the gems that are inside of them, but also enemies will be using them to hide behind. Alright, down there. Let's do it. So, he answers my table, and I know he's a, and from the sound of his voice I know he's a cult. And, you know, naturally, because I'm, I got, I will admit, at the time, I was a little nervous. I, you know, as being my first time actually doing one of the, uh, actually, you know, being a dealer at a casino, even if I was just more or less faking it. Ooh, top of the veils. Burn you. Top of the veils and burn you. But, so I was a bit, I do admit, I was a nervous. I was a bit nervous. Yeah, even I can get nervous from time to time. 
Luckily, that nervousness didn't last too long, and I was able to collect myself well enough to be able to continue the facade. And from the looks of it, he didn't seem to notice either. Now then, we got to work. Once uh, the introduction parts were pretty, the brief intro was pretty much over with. Um, and I will admit, at the end, I will say at the time I did not ask for his name. I probably should have, but I was too preoccupied uh, with the sort of task at hand. And it was, it was a failure on my part. But. It was a failure on my part. So, we got to work and we started and we started playing the game. And I'm trying to see, if you gotta do it this way, I believe. You gotta jump, fly, and then hover. There we go. That's how you get up to here, where there's some hidden treasure. Now let's go over here this way. What's up, Zoe? You can hover to get more distance. Yep. Hovering. Gotcha, gotcha. Burn and burn. Ooh, we have a portal here for Sheila. Alright, Sheila, you're gonna have some fun here at the beach as well. Let's hop on it. Oh, hi, Spyro. Some of my seal friends are trying to take down a Rhinoch fortress. Ooh. I'm about to go lend a foot. I love the smell of singed Rhinoch in the morning. Sounds good, Sheila. Although you can't burn them, so I don't know how you can, how you know what the singed Rhinoch smells like. So a thing to note about Sheila: she cannot swim, so do not get her into any water. These can you can stomp on them. Ow! No, you don't do that to Sheila. Sheila does that to you. Super jump, double jump over to here, and we find a hidden egg. Jared, what do you got? Oh, you can fly. Nice. Very nice, Jared. Good boy. Stop on this and get some gems. So then. Hmm, excuse me. Let's uh, break that box. Just because. Hi, What's up? Sheila. The Rhinox have built a fortress on our beach, and we're going to blow it to smithereens. Wow. We just need you to take out all the turrets for us. We're lighting the bomb now. Why? So sure to stomp all those turrets. Why couldn't you wait until after okay? I destroy? Why don't you wait until after I destroy all the turrets, and then you can light the fuse? Oh boy, because that wouldn't be challenging enough. But yep. We're under a time limit. We need to make sure we destroy all the turrets before time runs down. It shouldn't be too hard if, as long as you're uh, make sure that you're diligent and hitting each of the. Sir. So, concentration mode. So that's the game plays. I start to notice something a bit odd about the uh, this possible cheat. And I keep saying possible because I wasn't 100% sure at the time if he was, you know, cheating or if he was just that lucky. Which there are ponies out there who are that lucky. I think if you like angle your stomp just, ow, just right you can get two. But yeah, once you throw all the turrets, they'll come in, put the bombs on, get away, and blow up the fortress. Wow, I can't believe I survived that blast. Yeah, it's a good big thing surprise. I kept this egg nice and safe in my pocket. How did the Okay, let's start things off here. How did you survive the explosion? Second of all, how did the egg survive the explosion? Third of all, hi Molly. Yeah, aren't you cute? Nah, it's cute, Molly. I'm, uh, I'm gonna collect this duck right now. Get a free life. And full health. Our beach is 
Orb. Yeah, but I don't swim, so whatever. I think yeah, Sparks is telling me. Stay and get a tan if you like. Nah, I'm good. Our beach is Alright, thank you. Just wanted to see what they if they had anything interesting to say. Anyway, let's head on back so we can play a spar and continue on the adventure. But as we were playing along, I noticed that the the possible cheater, this cult, was well, he was slowly losing. Like, he started out with a bear amount of chips. But as the game... Ow. But as the game progressed, he won some hands. Like, I won't deny that he won a few hands here and there. But he always seemed to, uh... Just overall, like the overall thing, he just seemed to keep losing a little bit. More than he was winning. Which sort of confused me at first. I mean, wasn't it, I mean, at the time, I thought that wasn't it, a, wasn't the whole point of cheating to actually try to make as much as you could before you get caught or something? Like, why would you cheat and still be losing? And this was a very much a predicament, and I wasn't sure how much you tried to ambush me in the water. I wasn't sure how much time I had left before this cult decided to leave and probably be and probably gone from my only chance of actually getting it. getting it. I am just Whew. Sorry. I just uh I just finished having lunch. It's good lunch and uh I'm at you know how that feeling that feeling you get when you uh, eat some food really good some not great food but like okay but like good enough food and you're just like I want to do nothing more than just take it easy but I can't hmm. I wonder catch the funky chicken yeah that's what I thought Isn't there like a funky chicken somewhere here? There, right there. That was the funky chicken. I knew, I remember that particular skill point because it was always in this area. Anyway, let's go over here into this portal. Oh no, this one. To test our ultra high speed super fluidity tunnel. Why? The good news is that it made it to the end of the tunnel without a scratch. The bad news is that there's no way to get it back out now. The tunnel is chock full of rhinox and floating mines. The only way to retrieve that egg is to defeat every single rhinox in the tunnel. All right, so let me put this into perspective about this mission. So we are going to go into a super fluid tunnel where we'll be constantly charging forward. We need to hit and destroy every Rhinoc in there without hitting any single mine in order to get the egg. And this can be a giant pain in the butt, so prepare thyself. Let's rock. All right, time to concentrate. Cause see? Just take one hit and you're back to the start. Luckily, you don't lose any health if you take a hit inside the tunnel. So you won't have to worry about dying. But as we're playing through the... And also, the rhino, and also you don't have to worry about any Rhinox in the vertical... Uh, vertic like... Being above or below you. So... You don't have to worry about changing your Y axis. Just changing your X axis. Ooh, I think my tail just almost- Oh no! Oh man, so close. So as, um... So as we're playing through, and... I start to wonder, like, maybe we were wrong about this, you know. Maybe there was some mistake or something. But then, I noticed a change in his behavior. About near the end of my sh It was getting near the end out. Of the night. I noticed there was a change in his uh, uh, bedding habits, and he was starting to bed 
a lot more on certain hands than he was on others. And it, the change happened kind of almost suddenly that it surprised me for a moment. Although I did my best not let it show on my face. That one mine, that one mine. We are going to be here all day because of that one mine. Oh boy. This is gonna be fun. This is not gonna be like tree chops. I swear it's not gonna be like tree chops because at least I'm not dying over and over again to these mines. All right. Okay. Got it. This egg has surprisingly good fluid dynamic characteristics. From now on, all of our submarines will be egg-shaped. Uh, one more, please. All right, sorry about that. So, first of all, to get off my tangent, because I, you know, get off my train of thoughts rather quickly. Why do you need submarines if you're a SEAL? Hey, Duke. How did it feel to be a test for submarine? Yeah, I'm same way. This, yeah, that mission pretty much was. Let's uh, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here, please. Thank you. Let's uh, smash through here. Oh, there you go. My plan worked. That dumb octopus dropped the jail key while he was shaking me. Now I can free my friends. All right, and yay, they're all free. Oh, I forgot to tell you, one of the Rhinox had this egg in his lunchbox. Well, Dizzy, I'm glad you weren't some Rhinox lunch. Oh, ah, you chubby one. Just want to pinch his cheeks. Anyway, let's head over through this tunnel because there should be yep some few gems over here, and we're not. Done. Yeah. Okay. Sparks. Oh, right. oh, right. There's a challenge up here. Almost forgot about this. Yeah, we got a little portal up up here. Let's do another challenge. Bruno the Rhinoc has challenged us to a naval battle. Our speedboat versus his nuclear shark submarine. Whoa, 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 nuclear Wait, shark we'll submarine? Get the dragon egg he's guarding. If we lose, we'll have to spend a month doing kitchen patrol. What do you say? Do you want to take on Bluto? Why? This is your boat. Shouldn't you be able to handle it? Okay, good luck. Just remember, stay away from the sharp end. I bet. All right, so we have to fight Bluto. With this summer, with not the sub, uh, speedboat. We can use X to accelerate, circle to uh, fire missiles, and we have to pick up crates to get more missiles. So, this first part is just sort of to show you, like, how to get a feel for how the speedboat operates. So, we come into here, and we begin. Oh boy. Uh. Alright. Smack, smash you. Alright, let's. Okay, how does this thing work? How does this thing operate? Alright. I'm a dragon. I'm. Like, I'm not even controlling the. Uh, like, do you see this? How am I driving this thing? I'm not even holding on to the. Steering wheel. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. And Bluto's in the water. Ah, bye, bye, Bluto. That's the first time Bluto has ever lost. Mm -hmm. You dragons must have a ton of talent. I hope this egg was worth all the trouble. Eh, it was no trouble at all. Hey, Jackie, what's up? <gasps> all right. Oh, oh, don't worry. You'll fly in no time. But don't forget that you can come inside of here to get the treasure that's hiding inside. Hiding under the water. Ooh. Try to sneaky sneak. I believe also complete, uh, you have to beat 
Pluto in order to be able to um, oh, missed that pot. Get access to the stuff that's inside of here. Without him, you know, harassing you. Making good time. Oh. Get the gems, please. Thank you, Spark. You're the best. Let's get the gems up here. All the treasure belongs to Spyro. A few more. somewhere else that was in that general direction. Okay. How many gems are Oh, okay, it's four gems. Oh, we're also missing an egg. Oh, wow. Wow. How did I miss an egg? No, it's probably mean this one. Yeah, right here. This egg. Hey, Jason. Sorry. I almost forgot you. Oh, don't cry. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. That's a good boy. Six eggs. Hop over here. I can't wait until the Rhinox build. Okay. Oh. Oh. I missed an enemy and a... Okay. Ah, come here. Come here, octopus. Come here, octopus. Gotcha. You only work one gem. Oh. Oh. There we go. Okay. That happened. But 100% level complete. That took a bit longer than I expected. Alrighty. So, with a bit of time left, let's head off to Mushroom Speedway. And... It was at the... So, after a bit of time, I started... I remembered something that an associate of mine... His name is Lunar Sky. Who works in a subdivision of the night guard managing the cas the casino the ga the casinos that are in Canterlot. there are a few of them and he makes sure that you know he helps with the local officials to make sure that there's no cheating going on so he's quite familiar let's head on over to the balloon no i don't want to but yeah after you complete your last uh area all of the characters will be here uh, at least one character from each zone that you've done will be here and they will you can go off to the next world But we're not going to do that just yet because we're up to the mushroom speedway So he informed me about two things that I started to remember at that point one was that And this was kind of an afterthought thing, but he mentioned how some cheaters in order to try to hide the fact that they're cheating will act like a normal uh, guest you know Try to keep their lot, um, act like they're slowly losing, but not losing too badly. But when they win, they don't win that much. And I was starting to notice that there. The second one was a new trend that was starting to develop, uh, based on it was starting to develop in Canterlot, and I'm guessing it started to reach out towards other areas. But it was a system called card count. Now, he didn't tell me the exact details of how it worked, but he did tell me enough to keep an eye that I was able to start to realize and be 90% sure that the cult over there was card counting. So, we're going to go ahead. We've already done the time attack from the last, uh, from the last episode, so this time we're going to do race the butterfly. Okay. 
So we have to fly through all the green rings and use the red dots to help guide the course. But this is also a race. So we do need to beat the butterflies. Spyro is racing giant butterflies. What a what a world. Use the blue stars as speed boost to propel yourself forward and pass these butterflies. But the butterflies can use the speed boost as well to get ahead. So do keep that in mind. You are not the only one who can use them. So we're gonna star power. So that was that uh, trophy done. Gonna stick to the inside. We're at fourth place right now, heading into lap two. Let's see if we can uh, increase that our lead even further. Get the star. Get this star down here. They foolishly missed. Foolish butterfly. Do you not know that I am a dragon? I cannot lose to giant insects. No matter how cute you guys may appear to be. I said no. No butterfly. I am in third place right now. Heading into lap three. Okay, time to get serious. We have two butterflies ahead of us. And that one's got a nice lead. I need to get past this guy as fast as possible. Like so. We need to come inside here, take this one. We need to hurry up and get to get close enough to that one to be able to catch up to him. Overtake him. He didn't take this star power, like a foolish man. Or that one. Which I need. Burn him! Haha! -ha! Because you can burn them in order to stun them and get yourself ahead. And at first place. Uh, no. I'm good. Wow, you won first prize. Nice. So, I noticed that the guy... Ah, uh, cute. You got an A for a hat. So. And it was lucky that I realized that he was doing this because he suddenly played... He suddenly put a lot of his chips onto, the be, onto his bed, which, to me, realized that he must think... He must now believe that he's in a position where he can start earning a lot of a lot of money now. So I needed so I knew this was my chance to catch him off. So after all the bets were placed, I he put his hand he showed his hand off, which happened to be a jack and a ten, which makes twenty. I'm gonna hit time attack. But we're not gonna do any of the challenges here. We're actually gonna go and do something else, because if you don't know there's a third egg here. And from that brief glance, you probably could have seen exactly what that egg's gonna be. If we come over to... Where are you at? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, right. Over here. Hey, Hunter. What's up? Bunch of sheep and flying saucers what? Just came out of nowhere and started blasting up the race course. Looks like I'll have to hop in my plane and teach him some manners. So, we're gonna send Hunter off to shoot down some sheep UFO. Look Go out, for sheep. it. Here I come. Press the circle button to fire and X or square to turbo. Let's do it, Hunter. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So, Hunter will be in his plane and we need to go around the track. And shoot up the sheep UFO. And uh, Whoa. Well, looks like I'll have. Look out! And you just got your uh, butt handed to you, Hunter. Ow! Poo. Whoa. Looks like. Look out! Your. Can you make a smaller airplane, please? Thank you. Nailed it. Check it out. The squad leader had abducted this egg. Nice, Hunter. 
And we got Tater. So, finishing up things here, because it's about time for me to wrap it up. He had a 20. And I drew my, and I showed off my hand, which turned out to be a 8 and a 10, which made 18. Now, for those of you who don't know the rules of the house, the dealer stops drawing when he gets to 17, between 17 and 21, or he busts. Or they bust. So, I already saw the Colt smiling because he figured he won and was going to go and collect his winnings. But I wasn't going to let him have it. So, to in a move that shocks almost every, pretty much everyone there, including the, pos, including the cheater, I went ahead and drew a third card. Now, what was that third card? Well, I hate to do this, but you're going to have to find out next time. So, next time on the Spyro Reignited Trilogy, we are going to go and take a balloon and head off to the next world. Should be fun. I mean, we haven't done what this is all about, but I'm sure we'll figure it out uh, eventually. So until then, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all the content me and my friends are doing. And I look forward to seeing you all again next time. This is Moonsaber, signing out.